ready to go. It's like it's going to be <laughs> right. as me does. Yes. Okay. Go ahead. <clears throat> Great. Uh, so uh, I am Bruce Sterling, and this is Massimo Banzi. Mm -hmm. And uh, we are outside of Casa Yasmina, where a, a, a riotous party with beer <laughs> is going on. Uh, but uh, we were asked to come here and talk a little bit about Arduino in a domestic environment and what might be done with the Internet of Things and what makers can do mm -hmm. in a kind of domestic space. All right. So, anything new along that line, Massimo? <laughs> You in general or from Arduino? Uh, from, you know, from Arduino or, or yeah. something that has caught your interest that you think is kind of remarkable. But in a way, um, we're always doing quite a bit of work uh, in, in that space. You know, we're, we're coming up with new products that can make it cheaper, I would say now. Yeah. We made it easier with a few products, but now we're trying to make it cheaper as well okay. to create devices. Uh, we've also been working on designing a cloud platform, some kind of cloud software that would have the same design principles as Arduino. So right. something that would allow anybody with like writing 10 lines of code, they can have a device running, you know, fully kind of connected to the, to the cloud. So we're trying to get that you know, done right now. Uh, on the other hand, I've, I've, um, yeah, because I've seen that at the moment there's a bunch of people trying to make like commercial, very complex, very fully featured uh, platforms for big companies. People are like managing hundreds of thousands of devices. Right. And on the other hand, there are the sort of hack jobs that you can you know do if you just want to get one device online, but it's kind of shaky, not very. So there's something that would have the same spirit of Arduino, but right. on the kind of cloud software side, I think it's something interesting. And also on the user experience, the interface, the way you kind of manipulate your devices through the cloud. I think it's um, an area where there's still a lot of work to do and uh, people haven't uh, really figured out. Because I was giving a talk at this Cisco event on the internet of everything. Right. And so the presentation I made was based on this idea that now on the technology, we sort of understand the technology quite well, so the how is starting to become very well defined. Yes. The problem is the, the what and the why are now the issue, you know, the what are we going to do and why are we building, uh, Right. you know. We, uh, maybe, uh, you know. I'm thinking who is going to be an issue <laughs> too, actually. Yes. Just, you know, judging by sort of what I read, I don't think anybody who wants to do this is going to have just one cloud. No. It's going to be kind of rare to have like everything in your house run by Google or, or Nest or everything in your house run by Apple at home. Especially if your like, wife is an Apple person and you're a Google person and you're like trying to live together in the same house. <laughs> really, this, you know, this really seems like a kind of an interesting issue. It's a modern relationship problem. Yeah, it is. My, you know, my just like, you know, what if your uncle Google. or your brother or your sister or a passing girlfriend mm -hmm. sort of shows up? How are they supposed to like log into the house? Yeah, one of the things that we're trying to push through with this uh, platform is this idea of a federation protocol. So the idea that try to figure out if you can define protocols where different clouds can have a channel that kind of connects to other clouds, the way you can create pipes between right. the clouds. So that, yeah, if, you, if we are kind of living together, you're an Apple person and I'm a Google person and somebody else is a whatever else platform person is, we should be able to at least to you know bridge between our devices and say well you know I want to be able to see these devices alongside with mine yeah and uh, and then uh, it's gonna be hard to convince people to adopt that I think but, so you know, too if something becomes a standard from the bottom up then there will be a lot more interest from bigger players to adopt it because more and more people can expect to have it and uh, in it, maybe you know for this is an opportunity for the smaller companies. If the smaller companies are willing to create these bridges, they can actually maybe win over the bigger companies. Because the big, bigger companies, they want you to be in the walled garden. Yes, of course. Well, the, the smaller ones, they basically say, well, you know, I'm, a, I'm not a big garden. I'm a smaller, beautiful little you know, corner. And I'm happy if there's, a, if there's a path going from my patch to another patch and, and connecting. And so the interconnectivity is probably going to be the strength of smaller uh, companies. 
Yeah, I, I, I've seen so many alliances now that I can't, I really can't count them, you know, and they're like alliances on sort of major different levels too. I mean, you can be of an alliance for a cloud, but then uh, in a Bluetooth alliance or then a Bluetooth low energy alliance. And the only guys who seem to be in every possible alliance are Cisco. <laughs> And, you know, and I'm wondering how the heck people who want to buy these things are supposed to keep these relationships straight in their heads. And I don't know who's supposed to give you advice along that line. It's going to be, there's a... You know, it reminds me of the old days of, of buying a desktop computer. <laughs> you know, yes. when you sort of had to assemble everything and, you know, you had to buy the graphic card separately, and then you had to buy the printer, and then you had to buy the printer driver, and then you had to buy the ink for the printer driver, whatever, <laughs> ink. And they do, I don't think the people who want to do this want to go back to those days, but it really looks like they're trying. You know, well, it's going to be really day, interesting. At the end of the day, what happened is that uh, consumer pressure pushed people to reduce the number of standards. Like in terms of operating systems, there are three major desktop operating systems. Right. And uh, in terms of mobile platforms, there are now three major mobile platforms. Yeah. So, also I was very impressed by what Microsoft is doing right now. You know, they're, they're changing a lot as a company. Mm -hmm. they're, they started to put out some uh, uh, IoT products. They're hinting at about yeah. things that are happening. They have this thing called Connect the Dots, which is on GitHub. I've seen that. It's on GitHub. It is on GitHub. See Microsoft doing yeah, that, GitHub, well, you know, the, the new Microsoft uh, honcho is a very different guy. Yeah, they have a Windows running on anything. Yep, I've seen that. So They're actually uh, becoming a bit sexy over there. Yeah. <laughs> they, well, they couldn't get their cell phones to work, which is kind of weird, but uh, they're, not, they're kind of buying into the Android ecosystem, it seems like. I mean, I have, you know, I have experiences now that are like Internet of Things things that I, I've sort of never seen before, and one of them just now happened. I happened to be running a, you know, a Bluetooth speaker in there playing right. party music, Okay. It's like the only Internet of Things object in the house because it's actually like wirelessly connected. But then I came out here to talk to you and all the music immediately went off because it's like playing from a device in my pocket. So it's like no host, no party, right? What you need is a transparent uh, handover to the Wi-Fi network. You know, I guess so, but what, I, what actually happened there is that like I'm the host, I set up the system, and I'm kind of jealous. Because I don't want anybody else in my pocket, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, you can't touch my cell phone, heaven you know, forbid. But that means that as soon as I leave, it's like a social disaster. <laughs> now they, they have to talk to each other. I mean, there's like no music in there. Social well, you know, in the old days, I would have like left the stereo running. Yeah. And somebody would have left and they would have flipped over the record and played the other side. It's like, oh, well, Bruce isn't here. But now with Bruce there and like the thing, everything's being routed through this piece of Apple hardware. <laughs> and you know, I happen to have an Apple device, but it's not like I'm married to it. Mm -hmm. And you know, I think for Casa Yasmina, I probably need some kind of dedicated Casa Yasmina wireless gizmo. Okay. But I don't really, well, you know, it, it makes sense, right? I mean, why would I have an Apple? Why would I have, you know, this an Android? Windows phone. Well, you know, it's, that it's wouldn't becoming, bother me. That, one, that would not bother me a bit. I think Windows <laughs> phones are actually kind of sexy. No, exactly. But maybe just an open source phone, you know, or like a black phone or one of these other kinds actually, of devices. Actually, I think what Ubuntu has launched their phone finally. There's a zillion of them. Yeah. You know, and I, I don't mind it. I mean, I think if you might, it might be worth your while to have a device which you just sort of think of as your household remote control unit, and then you could leave it there. Yeah, and you don't have to like worry about people running off with your brain and all your business. Yeah, I know contacts. some people use uh, the iPod Touch. They buy iPod Touch, which are you know they have the yeah. same interface as an iPhone, but they are only Wi-Fi. They're light, right. and they cost. Well, this this is the first uh, you know Internet of Things disaster. It's like the host walked out with all the music. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have to return to my party here presently. We only have seven minutes. But unless I'm physically in there, nobody can hear anything, which is kind of weird. All right. It's the first time I've ever done that, but it won't be the last such thing to happen.
But the idea was that Casa Zorina is a place for uh, for us to experiment. Yep, there so you go. So you just uh, discovered something. Yes, you know, fail early, fail often. <laughs> Okay, we're going to multiply our mistakes. Okay, well, thanks for talking. This seems like a good advice to leave the, yeah, the back. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.